I'm a farmer, first and foremost. I've been operating a dairy here since 96. Here in the Central Valley of California, we are looking at sustainability of our groundwater table. You have 11 Western states that have severe droughts. You also have global droughts. You have water shortages all over the place. It's now changed what we can do for growing our support crops for our cattle. Forever Feed Technologies is a company where we are striving to take seed and formulate it into a dairy cattle feed. On a large dairy farm with tens of thousands of cows, you need to be able to provide a significant quantity of feed on a daily basis. In the feed mills of today, they'll take corn and they'll either roll it or they'll steam flake it or they'll grind it. What we're doing with wheat in this case, we're gonna take it and we're gonna sprout it. Forever Feed is using that natural process it changes the digestibility to higher levels than any other ways they can manipulate it. When you're creating the environment, a beautiful sunny spring day is ideal, but we need to do that in the middle of summer and in the middle of winter. And the only way we can do that is through a controlled environment. We take seed, put it into a tray, and this tray then gets stored into an ASRS system. And in that time, we are watering that seed. We drain the tray, we water it again, we drain it. And after so many days, we take that tray of seed out, we dump that seed, which is now grown together into a mat, grind it up into cow feed, run it through a washing system, put the tray back down, put more seed into it, and start the process all over again. In 15,000 square feet, one of our systems replaces about 720 acres of alfalfa, uses 95% less water, and produces up to 100,000 pounds of fresh feed per day. We bring our system to the farm where it belongs, so we're no longer using all that diesel, and you're no longer farming on 720 acres. If you need to expand your size of our operation, you don't have to go get additional ground. It also is an opportunity for us to really innovate how water is used. We're doing it at a scale and a level of automation that has not been attempted before. Cows don't get a day off. They eat every day. They milk every day. And so our technology can't have a day off. If we're only running at 85 to 90% uptime, that means we're not feeding them 30 days a year? That's not acceptable. We have to operate every day, and we can't be more than a couple hours behind. If you could imagine having thousands and thousands of trays out in this racking system, you need to build a point and say, go look here and go check here, because you can't afford to go looking through thousands and trying to visually see. We need the capability to troubleshoot things quickly. We went to JR Animation with our concept. It was obvious the right path was some form of automated storage and retrieval system, an ASRS. So the ASRS system and how that would tie with our technology was a collaboration between the two teams. As a control engineer, we integrate these systems. That usually involves putting all these different systems that talk different protocols onto your network, and then we get to be the conductor of the orchestra. The most helpful thing that JR has brought to this has been the HMI and the controls. That's human-machine interface. We put a lot of time and effort into making our control panels user-friendly. We're making them more accessible through web interfaces on your laptops or even, for me personally, remotely so that I can remotely support them. Because we're trying to give those seeds those perfect environments, we collect as much data as we can so that our systems can analyze it and react. We've developed the world's first commercial scale system of its kind. There's nothing like this out there. We've really enjoyed the project and truly feel like we're real partners. The Forever Feed project really fits into Hitachi's sustainability goals. This is good for the environment and good for sustainability. This technology could improve not just farming, it's much, much farther than that. It's automation on this scale and it has an opportunity to stretch out to animal agriculture as a whole. If we can prove it here, feeding 2,500 cows through one of these units, when you get into the Middle East and Australia and some of these places that struggle even more with water, the benefits to the environment could be very high.